Hi, this is um, going to be a repost of my video how to use um, Music Brains Picard directly with your iTunes library because YouTube has gone and muted the original video I put up because right at the end I got a 20 second blast of Led Zeppelin um, in the car. The whole point of this program and me using it is to convert my um, files to mp3 so I can use them in the car. It's an mp3 player, it doesn't do CDs or anything like that. Now the music I was playing, um, which is a quick blast of Led Zepp, I bought once on vinyl in the 70s and once from the iTunes store in digital format. Um, that they should mute my video because of complaint from the copyright owners I think is just frankly pathetic. What are the record company saying? If if I have visitors here and I put on um, an album, the Led Zepp album, the music that I've bought twice, would the record company like to charge the people who are around here for listening to it? Because it's no different, the principle is absolutely no different, putting it on MP3s in the car. I've bought the music twice, I'm perfectly entitled to listen to it in my car. I didn't even play a full fucking track. It was just 20 seconds just to demonstrate how it works in the car. Um, so I've had to delete it off the end of this video um, and in the video I make a reference saying I'm going to tack on uh, a bit from the car. I've had to delete it off. You won't see that anymore. I should put a video of me sit <laughs> singing a Led Zepp song but that'll probably put you all off <laughs> and I'll lose all my subscribers. Um, this video has caused me more trouble than anyone I've ever uploaded to YouTube, I think. Uh, but here we go. Here's the original video, minus the blast of Led Zepp at the end, how to use Music Brains Picard directly with your iTunes library. <gasps> so, here we go. Here's iTunes open. I've selected my Led Zepp MP3s, which... Um, I got iTunes itself to convert to MP3s. You'll notice there's AAC files there. They're all legally bought. Um, and I've started up Music Braids Picard, and it's basically just the same as, because it all works with drag and drop, um, I'm making sure Kind is enabled there to make sure they are all MP3s. It's basically just drag and drop. You drag the files straight from your iTunes library onto Music Braids Picard. It works through them all in the usual way. And in this case, it keeps on leaving behind Tangerine by Led Zeppelin. I can't, I can't think why, but it always does. Um, I haven't really been able to work out why that happens. Um, and I have, in fact, deleted that from the SD card. So there's one track missing. I'll have to do some more work on that. But here you can see it's going out on the internet, getting all the ID3 information. And again, uh, that's Tangerine. Um, it's in the file called Unmatched Files, in the folder called Unmatched Files. So I'm going on to the internet, finding um, Tangerine, what number track it is on the, uh, on the album, and it turns out it's track number seven, filling in that information. But in fact, I decided that because it keeps on coming up there, despite me filling in this information, just to leave it out for the time being, I'll go back and sort this problem out later. I don't know what the hell was wrong there. And you'll notice that a lot of these tracks are doubled up. Um, you've got Led Zeppelin 1, 2, 3, 4, Hazard of the Holy and Physical Graffiti, but you've also got the same tracks appearing in the compilation albums. So again, you save the information as you want it. Um, I just want it, Led Zeppelin 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, Houses of the Holy and Physical Graffiti, which I'll fill in all the blanks and everything when I get there. As you can see, the ID3 information is pretty pretty. Uh, comprehensive, it all looks good, there's lots of lovely little green ticks so what I'm going to do is save them all and you save the actual albums there's something I found that isn't quite right um, and you just go through it, make sure everything's tickety-boo save it to the albums that you want the tracks to appear to and then hopefully, there you see a couple outlined in red, that's probably a couple that are on the compilation albums as well so you click save on the album and it turns green, which shows that everything's, everything's good. Okay, so here we are. It's 
altering this information in my iTunes library but as I say that information won't turn up in iTunes automatically you have to double click on the track before the new ID3 tags um, you have to double click on the track in iTunes for the new information to actually show up in iTunes so although it's been saved it's not completely apparent maybe starting and restarting iTunes would have the same effect I don't know I didn't try it but certainly double clicking on it does and here we go I'm just going through the mechanics saving the albums it's all working fine lots of lovely green colors that's okay by me I don't want these those particular albums showing up so I want that particular album showing up, so that looks all right, so I'll save it, and etc, etc. I'm just preparing the tracks in a perfectly normal way. And there they all are, and in theory, I should now be able to drag them straight from iTunes onto the car SD card, and it all should work. But as I explained um, in the introduction to this new extended movie, some of them are disguised as mp3s and are in fact mp4s so it won't work when you put the car cd onto shuffle but there we go right now and here's the bit that would have contained the uh the recording in the car where you could hear the led zeppelin blazing out but not allowed i've been a very naughty boy see ya